Right, hi, Richard Moore here from Eight Step Startup. I hope you're having a great day. Um, I've, uh, I'm going off to teach right now. Uh, I have one of my businesses is a Taekwondo school. And um, you know, sometimes the you get a real fulfillment from the real simple stuff. And uh, whilst it's not simple to necessarily teach Taekwondo and it's quite a complex martial art at times, the bottom line is um, you can get fulfillment from something really simple like spending time with people and just working out really. So we're going to keep a nice simple lesson and uh, what I like about business sometimes is that it can be really simple um, and a guy I was in touch with this week uh, is a phenomenal person, he is CEO of a business and uh, he keeps things really simple. Um, this is uh, Guillaume Cabrera. So he's CEO of a company called AXA Labs. Now you may not know this business, but if you check out AXA, A-X-A, online, you'll find the, uh, the French multinational financial services company uh, pretty readily. So they're mostly uh, well known for insurance and uh, but in other financial services and wealth management, uh, AXA, you know, they're looking after something in the region of $1.1 trillion worth of assets. And if you convert their turnover, it's something in the region of $100 billion. So uh, they have a division of their company called um, AXA Labs that really liaises tightly with uh, Silicon Valley tech uh, and um, is, is very, very closely aligned with digital marketing communication. Um, Guillaume Cabrera. Uh, originally worked with Omnicom so those of you I know plenty of them who've worked with advertising and communications you're gonna know Omnicom quite well uh, he's also been guest lecturer at INSEAD and depending on what you read pretty much everything uh, is recognized as one of the uh, world's largest and, and uh, leading business schools so uh, he's he's been he's often invited to speak there but as uh, the global head of digital partnerships and CEO of AXA Labs, uh, Guillaume, I, I just simply asked him, you know, let's keep things simple. Can you just give us, you know, for startup business owners, what would you say are the three most basic things you've got to bear in mind? And he said, Richard, number one is you've just got to make sure more than anything that you solve a real pain point. And this is something I go on about quite a lot. There's a major difference between a need or something that someone might even just want. Pain is a big deal. And if you can solve pain, well then you're a god to a potential customer. So solve a real pain point hone in on what you actually are going to do that's going to make a difference in someone's life and all of a sudden you're going to be very very uh, high value to them. Second thing Guillaume said to me was, and I love this because it's the kind of thing I preach all the time, launch as soon as possible. I'm not going to say anything else, it's really as simple as that, launch as soon as possible. I'm right behind that. Uh, those of you who procrastinate, oh it's not quite ready yet, my product needs a bit more work, I just want to redesign the logo a bit. Oh, I'll just wait a bit longer until I've got a bit more cash. No, get it out there, it's much more worthwhile and start living by the seat of your pants a bit. That's where the real living works. Uh, it happens in, in business startups, I believe. Um, another one he said though is, is know when to pivot. And this is, um, this is important. I, it's rare that you actually have a startup business vision that ends up as the end result as well. I mean, many people do that, of course, but along the way you need to pivot here and there. It may not be with the overall vision, but certainly with some ways of working. So uh, you've got to know when to pivot and that is always a bit of a difficult one. But but I think when it, when it comes to uh, your gut telling you, you know what, I could probably do this better another way. You've got to be willing to say, okay, I'm not going to lose sight of the essence or values of what I'm doing, but there is a better way. Come on, let's move, move with the times or at least react to what my market's perhaps telling me. And he threw in one for free as well. He said, Richard, I'm going to actually give you a fourth uh, piece of advice as well, rather than three. And he said, that's really to choose your board members carefully. Um, and if you're a startup, you might not have a board, but you might have advisors, you might have mentors. And uh, it's something I talk about a lot. And I pre appreciate I'm biased, but when it comes to picking a mentor, some people make some massive mistakes out there. Don't fall for the hype, don't fall for the marketing, look at the detail, okay? Has your mentor or the board uh, you're putting together or your advisors or the people you're gonna lean on or even the colleagues you're gonna work with, have they any sense of what they're doing? Do they have a clue? 
Uh, have they got any substance? Have they spoken to people like Guillaume Cabrera, for instance? But also, you know, have they got any experience that could bring uh, some value? Or are they just a nice guy that you like working with? So bear that in mind, because it makes a big difference when you're working with someone that you need to potentially lean on, but doesn't really have a clue. So choose board members carefully. And he said that's especially so uh, when there's a downturn as well. So um, that's Guillaume Cabrera. You know, the guy's got experience working with Sony, Nike, Carrefour. That's the number two supermarket worldwide to Walmart. I think Walmart's a half trillion turnover and they're about two, 200, 250 trillion. Uh, so they're pretty big. And, uh, you know, Disney and, and uh, McDonald's, he's worked with them as well, plus many others. So um, that's some real sound advice. But the, the takeaway here isn't just his advice, but it's just that sometimes you just got to keep things real simple and uh, yeah I'm off now to enjoy about an hour and a half of people kicking ass and uh, and keeping life simple we're gonna teach them some new kicks tonight uh, we're gonna smash some pads blow off a bit of steam after a big day uh, but more importantly nothing's gonna be complex it's gonna be simple and that makes it fun as well have a great day whatever you're doing and I'll speak to you soon